Welcome to yet another episode in the Amiga CD32 review project. The game I've been playing for this episode is Black Wiper, developed by Italian developer Light Shock and published by Neo in 1996. It's the year 2166. The planet has been all but destroyed in a global nuclear war, and the few surviving cities are now controlled by street gangs. These gangs are in turn controlled by the Redemen, or the people of the underground as they are also called. These guys started the war in the first place, and they are now waiting underground for all the remaining survivors to die of the radiation, so that they can take over and start a new civilization. You, of course, are fighting these Redemen in order to free the few survivors. You are the son of the late rebel leader, and everyone now looks to you to solve all of their problems. And how do you solve those problems, you might ask? Well, by driving really fast on your motorbike, of course. This is a bit of a weird one. There's all this build-up, a beautiful narrated intro with great, for the time, 3D rendered graphics along with some stunning 2D stills, and then all you get when you enter the actual game is a subpar, uninteresting racing game. The game sees you driving into the screen while avoiding obstacles and other drivers. You get weapons for your bike so that you can shoot some of the other cars, but the only reason for doing so is to avoid crashing into them. It's not like you have to catch someone like in Chase Headquarters for example. No, you're just racing through the landscape to beat a timer. As a racer, I guess the game is okay, if it was released 4 to 5 years earlier that is. You've got to remember that this title was released in 1996. It had to compete with excellent racers such as Wipeout 2097, Rich Racer and so on and so forth. There's really nothing interesting here. You race along the tracks, try to avoid the traffic and obstacles, collect some more or less pointless power-ups and that's about it. Let's take a look at what the reviewers back in the day had to say about Black Wiper. Amiga Active awarded this game a 3 out of 10 score, and they write The lack of instructions made it hard to figure out the aim of the game, but then there's not much to it. The Lotus is Sprit on a bike, racing against a clock instead of against other cars. In short, I have to ask why. Designing and programming a bad game is one thing, but at least you can see a storyline, even if it's impossible to enjoy it. With Black Wiper, the storyline is so cryptic and pointless, and certainly not aided by the tedium of the actual racetracks, that I have to wonder why anyone would use precious days, weeks and months programming it, let alone playing it. It was quite hard to find reviews for Black Wiper, but suffice it to say that German magazine Amiga Joker awarded the game a 52% score, and Amiga Magazine gave it a 5 out of 10 rating. The reviewers all seem to agree that this is a very mediocre game. Black Wiper to me was a really uninteresting game. It seems like a subpar Road Rash clone. It didn't interest me at all. So nothing to see here, move along. I'll give this game a 2 out of 5 rating. And the only reason it got a 2 instead of a 1 was the intro. 